Good morning. In our first reading from uh, St. Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, uh, which we are following through most of this weekend, I think we're looking at chapter 8 this week, uh, at least today. Uh, St. Paul reminds us that Jesus became poor for our sake. And Jesus um, didn't have to go through the hardships that he that he did. He didn't have to to be uh, tortured and, and, and put to death in the way that he did for his own sake. He did it for our benefit. And so um, it, as, as Christians, we are, are asked and challenged to, to take on that, that approach, that there may be things that we do in life which are not for our own benefit. We're not going to get any benefit from them at all. Um, but we're encouraged to, to use our talents and our abilities since we all have different ones. And if there's other people who are able to benefit from that or use them, then it's incumbent on us really to put ourselves out with, without any expectation of reward or sometimes even expectation of thanks, but just simply to do what it is that other people need. Jesus goes on in the gospel to tell us that we must love our enemies. He says, you know, eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Turn your cheek. Don't, don't uh, retaliate. Love your enemies. And, and understand where they come from and surprise them that uh, you, you can actually uh, beat magnanimous in whatever they do, that they are not, in fact, uh, going to, to defeat you. Um, that, not that that's the competition, but, in fact, that you are able to, to cope with whatever it is that comes your way. So let's take on the values that Jesus teaches us this morning. Let's um, be, be cheerful, be giving. And have a happy, happy day today. So I'll see you guys uh, again tomorrow. You stay well and keep safe. Bye-bye.